rejoiced with those who said to me, Let us go up to the house of the Lord. Our feet are standing in your gates, Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built like a city that is closely compacted together. That is where the tribes go up. The tribes of the Lord to praise the name of the Lord according to the statute given to Israel. There stand the thrones for judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May those who love you be secure. May there be peace within your walls and security within your citadels. For the sake of my family and friends, I will say, Peace be within you. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek your prosperity. Good morning and praise the Lord, church. I say good morning and praise the Lord. It's good to see all of us in the house of God this morning. And welcome aboard even as we worship the Lord in truth and in spirit. This is a place to be and the Lord has good plans, plans to uh, to make you prosper in every way. And so even as we continue thinking about our theme for the year, may the Lord make us grow in every aspect of our lives. And so thank you for your choice to join us in this worship service. It is my prayer that the Lord is going to minister to us as church and even from the individual point of view. So welcome aboard and may the Lord meet you at the very point of your need. Whatever you've desired, may the Lord make a way for you so that your life is going to be at peace with him. Even for those who are watching at us uh, virtually, we continue to welcome you as well. Feel that you're at the right place and thank you for joining us, even online. And it's my prayer that the Lord will also minister to you from wherever you are. We have a number that is appearing on the screen. You can use that number to send in your givings. And so there it is, and I pray that the Lord is going to, uh, to speak to you so that as we become a blessing to you, you shall also become a blessing to the minister, to the ministry as well. And I'm sure at the end, you'll see the faithfulness of God. So thank you, and all of us, may we experience the power of God upon our lives. Father, we thank you for this morning, and I pray that even as we begin our service, your presence is going to go with us. And this is our prayer, for we do not want to go without you. We cannot make it. We'd be doomed, we'd be lost. And I pray that God in heaven, your presence, your power, your glory, will continue to shine upon us. And so we give you praise, we give you honor. Thank you for what you're about to do to our lives. Go with us to the end. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless us, therefore, as we continue. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Greet your neighbor and welcome them to the session of praise and worship. Those who are seated far behind, please come in front. Let's sit in the front seat. As we move forward, let's clap our hands. Hallelujah. We have every reason to glorify God this morning. So let's worship him this morning because he's a wonderful God. Mira 
worship Jesus this morning. Tell him he's a wonderful God. Tell him he has been so faithful. He's a miracle working God in our lives. He has done so many things to us that you cannot tell him all. Let's worship God this morning. Open your mouth and worship God. Tell him how great he is. Tell him that he is a faithful God in our lives.
Can we speak to the Lord? Call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, you are in this mighty There is none like you. We acknowledge your majesty. We acknowledge your glory. We acknowledge, O oh God, you are the mighty warrior. You are everlasting Father. We thank you, Jehovah Lord, for your faithfulness upon our life. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your mercies that are new every morning. We thank you for the blessing of good health. We thank you for the gift of life, oh God, even this morning. We bless you that, Lord, we are in good health, and we bless your name for this, Jehovah Lord. We thank you for many good things that you have done for us, that we cannot tell it all. You have been a good father, a loving friend. We thank you. We bless you this morning, Jehovah Lord. And we commit ourselves to you in this service. Thank you for hearing our prayers. The prayers of your people, oh God. You said the prayers of the righteous, oh God, is powerful and is fruitful. We pray that, Lord, you have heard our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ. And that, Lord, you are going to meet us at the point of our need. In accordance to your will, from your riches and glory in heaven. We thank you for the provision throughout the week and throughout the Month. And we pray that Jehovah Lord, even in the coming days of this year, that your blessings of provision will continue being upon us. Thank you for each and every one of us here. Thank you for every man, for every woman, and thank you for every child. In the name of Jesus Christ, that this day you are going to speak to us. That this day, Lord, you are going to bless us. That today, Lord, you are going to manifest yourself among us, Jehovah Lord. As we begin this service, we pray, Jehovah Lord, you walk with us. Speak to us. Encourage us. Rebuke us. 
correct us, Jehovah Lord, with your words and the testimonies of your servants. We thank you, Jehovah Lord, for our country, Kenya, and we thank you for the rains. Now we pray that, Lord, these rains will not bring more damage and harm, but, Lord, will be of blessing to us. We thank you that, Lord, we are enjoying the fruits from our farms because of the rain. We bless you, for there is none like you, Jehovah Lord. And we thank you that, Lord, with all this that you've given us, that we'll be able to serve you. We thank you for our president and the leadership. We pray for grace for them. We pray for wisdom. We pray for the spirit of discernment of God as they lead and govern this country. May your power, God, be upon them. May your spirit lead them in all that they do in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you and we pray, Jehovah Lord, as we begin, be with us service and the services to come, that every servant who will come up here will be used of you. Every choir that will be ministering will be used of you to glorify you and also to bless your people. We thank you. Bless our day and bless our service. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us clap to the Lord. Let us celebrate the Lord. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Happy New Year. Thank you for joining us in our service today. Please feel welcome. Greet somebody next to you. Welcome them. You are in the right place. May the Lord bless you for choosing to worship with us. Uh, this is our first service and be blessed. Thank you. Let's get our Bibles as we get the first reading of, or the reading of the week. Thank you. Praise and worship. The Lord bless you. Good morning, church. Praise God. Indeed, it is time for the reading of the week. May we have our Bibles and open the book of John, chapter 21, verse 19 to 25. John 21, from verse 19 to 25. If you are there, you can say amen. Verse 19, Jesus said this to indicate the kind of death by which Peter would glorify God. Then he said to him, follow me. Peter turned and saw that the disciple whom Jesus loved was following them. This was the one who had learned back against Jesus. Leaned, so, sorry, this was the one who had leaned back against Jesus as at the supper, and his, and Ed said, Lord, who is going to betray you? When Peter saw him, he said, he asked, Lord, what about him? Jesus answered, if I want him to remain alive until I return, what is that to you? You must follow me. Because of this, the rumor spread among the believers that this disciple would not die. But Jesus did not say that he would not die. He only said, if I want him to remain alive until I return, what, what is that to you? Verse 24. This is the disciple who testifies to these things and who wrote them down. We know that his tes testimony is true. Jesus did many other things as well. If every one of them were written down, I, sup I suppose that even the whole world would not have room for the books that would be written. And that is the word of God.
Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Jireh, not my provider, he keeps on doing great things. Jehovah Rapha, Lord my healer, he keeps on doing great things. Jehovah Rapha.
greet you in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again. Uh, it's another day that the Lord has given to us. Kindly join me as we sing the song that is in our bulletins today. My faith has found a resting place. Indeed, your faith will lead you to, 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 to rest in that what we are being told in the in the song. My faith has found a resting place, not in device nor creed. My faith has found a resting place, not in device nor creed. Let's go together. My faith has found a resting place, not in divine or green. I trust the heaven-living one, this good for me shall Good morning, church, and praise God. It is a joyous instant to see everyone on board this house of God. It is not a new normal, but our resilience and determination to serve God. Amen. 
I stand here to make an announcement, but before then, I would like to note the presence of the feasters. In our church, we hold our feasters with a lot of esteem, kindly. If this is your first time to worship with us, or you have been away for quite some time, kindly, uh, you can stand up. We confirm your presence. It's like if you don't have visitors today. We have two services in our church. First from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Second from 11.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Bible interaction is in every Wednesday from 5.30 to 7 p.m. All are welcome. Baptist class is on every Sunday with the Pastor Aaron Musioki. Children from 10 a.m. to 30 a.m. and adults after second service. Youth service is in every second and fourth week of every month. We give our tithes every Sunday. Men's fellowship is on every Thursday 